Hello there, welcome to another devlog. I'm Vinny and this is Farstar. In the past month, I've been working on a dialogue system for the game, and this will be the subject for the next video. In this one, I want to cover some changes in the game art and some new content, which I haven't covered in the last videos. The most significant one is probably the character design. I decided to fix the colors in the game, which were all over the place. This made me think about the character and how I could simplify it. I do like how they look in the original form, but they actually take a big chunk of the screen space. I experimented with different styles until I found one which had a good balance of detail and size, without being too generic. I kinda like many of these versions, so I'll keep them for future use. The design I chose is not that smaller than the previous one, but it's simpler and it seems to work well. Another big piece of content is the new space station. I need to polish it and add some more detail, but I'm quite happy with many things I created for it. Let me start with the new enemies. For the space station, I thought about creating some kind of enemy that would squeeze through vents. But as I already have spiders in the desert, I needed something different. My first idea was to make a parody of the green slimes you see in every RPG dungeon crawler game. Mine would be made of meat, and I thought they could all be part of the same monster. My initial inspiration was the thing, but I realized that it is also the premise of Stranger Things. So I created this new enemy. Can you see how they seem to form coming from the ground and then they just dissolve back? Besides the alien vermin, I created a cocoon and I'm really proud of its final animation. I tried a few different movements, but this quick shake was the one that I liked most. It's like there is something shaking inside, and in some case there will be. Sometimes there may be enemies or some NPC or collectibles, the possibilities are endless. Enough about enemies, let me talk about the space station itself. I'm still playing around with colors, but this is basically the structure I want. The hangar has these spaceships in the background, and they change every time you enter the area. Later, I think I'll add a few mechanics and pilots moving in the background, and I also have a few other ideas that I want to try. I also created a new tile set for the station with a neutral color. I want to add some lighting variations and some wall features, but this is for the next time. I really like these fans I created. Also, in some place, I add these details to add a little bit of a context about the enemies. I think that's all it's worth to mention for now. I also want to give a shout to some contributors to the A-Sprite Wizard project. If you don't know what it is, A-Sprite Wizard is a plugin for Godot to make porting animations from A-Sprite easier. I'd like to say thanks to Lucas Castro, which identified and helped me debug and fix an issue where the created resources were bigger than they should be. Some time ago, ARK! Some time ago, ARG, I don't know their real name, but ARG sounds cool enough. They sent a pull request enabling the plugin as important, uh, so thanks for that. I also want to say thanks to all the nice comments and suggestions, and to everyone that subscribed to the channel. That's all for today, please share this video if you liked it, and uh, see you next time!